Hello, welcome back to my podcast, The AJ Kendall Show. Today we're going to be doing something very special on the podcast. We are going to be ranking my ex-girlfriend's ex-boyfriends. So starting at the very, very, very bottom is me. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. That's <laughs> such a stupid joke and segue. Um... The other day, I, I came out with a video talking about how I was able to read 100 books last year. And I talk about the, the how I developed that habit, but I didn't really talk about any of the books that I actually read. And so today, I want to talk about one of them specifically. I want to talk about The Screwtape Letters, which was a real fun, cute book for as fun and cute as a book about demons can be. It was written by C.S. Lewis, and C.S. Lewis is the uh, everyman theologian. No. Okay, he is the theologian for the everyman. The everyman theologian is just, I guess, every man. Um, but, you know, I feel like a lot of people are at least a little bit familiar with C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis was the author of the Narnia books, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and all of the other ones. It was dedicated to J.R.R. Tolkien. J.R.R. Tolkien? J.R.R. Tolkien? J.R.R. Tolkien? <laughs> I can't say it. Um, the guy who wrote The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. So it was written to him, uh, and they were they were good buddies. In fact, Tolkien, there it is, I said his name right. Tolkien was actually able to, I'm not talking, I can't talk today. <sighs> Still thinking about my ex-girlfriends, I guess. Tolkien was the person who was able to, you know, reintroduce C.S. Lewis to the Christian faith and was able to kind of help him convert to become a Christian. So C.S. Lewis dedicates the screw tape letters to Tolkien. And the premise of the book is it's two demons, um, Screwtape and Wormwood. Screwtape is an elder demon who's giving advice to a younger demon, Wormwood. And he's giving him advice on how to, you know, thwart and rob this patient, this person, from experiencing the greater things in life, like, you know, joy, love, but especially knowledge and a relationship with God. When I say it's a cute book, it's cute not because, you know, oh, it's demons trying to destroy this guy's life in every possible and conceivable way, but rather it's cute because, well, one, they're British. They're so British. That's, I don't really have any complaints about this book except for the fact that I feel like my demons are not sitting around drinking tea and eating crackers, but uh, his his are. They, they all sound like they are... British. In fact, when I, I'm going to read an excerpt from the book and talk about that, that was probably the most beneficial to me. I'm going to be tempted to probably go into a British accent. I don't know if you do that. I do it all the time where I'll be talking with someone, whether they have a southern accent or, and I, I recognize I have an accent, um, but to me, I don't hear it. I just, this is how I talk. But whether it's Australian, southern, British, if someone is speaking in an accent, I am like tempted to like mimic that accent like it's just a, such a dumb part of my brain but i'm gonna read this i'm gonna read an excerpt from this book and if i slip into a british accent i'm sorry yeah i want to read today uh the most beneficial thing from this book which has to do with the idea of temperance now if you google temperance you'll probably see that it has to do with an aversion and an abstinence of alcohol consumption that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not talking about alcohol at all. Uh, there are other definitions of temperance that have to do with having your emotional state in a, in a point of control. And so I think that that is something that is incredibly lacking. And I don't think that it is something that is um, exclusive to me or to uh, American culture or the current state of American politics. But I definitely see a lack of temperance permeate all of those things. And so today, I want to talk about how these demons, or read about how these demons are trying to pervert the ways in which we think and have discussions about these kinds of things. So <clears throat> here's an excerpt from a, a previous letter, and then I'm going to read almost an entire letter from Screwtape. And so this is Screwtape speaking to young Wormwood. Give me without fail in your next letter a full account of the patient's reactions to the war, so that we can consider whether you are likely to do more good by making him an extreme patriot or an ardent pacifist. There are all sorts of possibilities. He goes on to say, Whichever he adopts, your main task will be the same. 
let him begin by treating the patriotism or the pacifism as part of his religion. Then let him, under the influence of partisan spirit, come to regard it as the most important part, then quietly and gradually nurse him onto the stage at which the religion becomes merely a part of the cause, in which Christianity is valued chiefly because of the excellent arguments it can produce in favor of the British war effort or of pacifism. The attitude which you are to guard against is that which temporal affairs are treated primarily as material for obedience. Once you have made the world an end, and faith a means, you have almost won your man, and it makes very little difference what kind of worldly end he is pursuing, provided that meetings, pamphlets, policies, movements, causes, and crusades matter more to him than prayers and sacraments and charity, he is ours. And the more religious, on those terms, the more securely ours. I could show you a pretty cageful down here. Your affectionate uncle, Screwtape. When the Apostle Paul writes to, I think, Timothy, he gives a description of several different characteristics of an elder for a church. You know, and I think it's easy to look at them and go, okay, cool, I'm not cheating on my wife, I'm loving people, you know, whatever. Like, yeah, 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 I'm, 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 I'm making those known and, and, you know, practicing those good characteristics. But one that I think is, in today's society, overlooked is that of temperance, which is self-control. So, for me personally, when I read something like that, I, mi I initially want to go to other people. But then I have to stop myself and recognize that I am not impervious to that. I struggle very, very much with being overpassionate about inappropriate things. I'm more concerned about the ends, which for me sometimes are the world, than the means, which is my Christian faith. And it really should be flipped. You know, I think that even in the midst of COVID-19, you know, there have been so much, there's been so much demonization of different peoples, you know, where it's like, these people want this, and because they are bad in this area, and vice versa, and it's so asinine and ridiculous because of how uncharitable people are. And so, I read something like this, I mean, and the whole book is just filled of things like that, and, you know, yeah, I think that, for me, I don't want, I don't want to be a person who fundamentally gets wrong the means and the ends because that'll never lead, lead to a peaceful life a, a joyful life that'll never lead anywhere productive at all so yeah my encouragement to you is um well one i would recommend reading this book i think it's fun and cute as fun and cute as a book about demons can be i recommend c.s lewis's the screw tape letters i think it's a lot of fun um and i definitely was able to reflect on a lot of different things this topic was just one of them and i thought that i would share it with you because it is a topic that i feel like our current society is very much lacking but what we're not lacking is patriotism and pacifism we got an abundance of those and we've got an abundance of people who use their Christianity for both. And, um, and it's not to say that, you know, the world is all of a sudden now easy after reading a little book like this or reading an excerpt from a book like this. Far from it. But being able to have the humility and devotion to be obedient to God, uh, I think that's where the solution is. Yep, so that's Screw Tape Letters. I really liked it. Um, and if you like this video, hit, a, hit the like button. Um, I think that's it for, for this little episode. Um, but hey, in the meantime, I love you. Uh, peace and God bless you guys. Hope you're doing well.